Hi. You know, it brings such joy to me when outcomes are positive. When I think about people, when I realize that something has happened that caused them to feel real nice about themselves and about what is about them, it brings joy to me. <clears throat> you know, we understand that there are some crisis situations that's always taking place and people find themselves in the midst of them all the time. But every now and then when you find yourself in the midst of something that you don't want to find yourself in and a blessing appears out of nowhere, something you didn't expect, but something that takes away the crisisness of what you are enduring or about to endure. And you're so thrilled at it. To be hungry, it could be as simple as that. And somebody give you a sandwich and an apple. Wow, boy, you bet that's some good stuff sometime. And to need a ride, and maybe rather than give you a lift, give you an old car or just a car. Wow. I think about... <clears throat> All of the wonderful things that people can be without can suffer like thereof. And at any point in time, if you're going through that and then all of a sudden something comes through to satisfy that, it is an absolute blessing. Every last one of us would say that, I'm sure, or agree with that. And so I'm thinking, why can't that be a way of life? A way of life where living is meeting needs. Living is not to exploit or to take advantage of, but if anything is to meet a need, to recognize, identify, and satisfy. <clears throat> to me, these absolutes that we all crave for, and if we knew how to pray, we pray for and if we knew how to cause, we cause. But lacking this information, we find ourselves following people who are just lying to us. Because most people know this and say this, nobody provides. And I think this is why we have a, a, a wannabe dictator who recognized that over the generations, people have promised this and no one has been able to deliver and so this one believes that if he can just take power and make people believe that by the power that he has, that they've given him or he's taken, he can force people to act a certain kind of way by doing what others do, threatening, cutting their hands off, killing them, doing this and doing that, as if this were working. Now, I guess for people to go along with it is that they want it so bad that they are so lost but that <clears throat> is something that happens. <clears throat> but the message that's worthwhile, the message that every last human being, if weren't contaminated with the philosophies of others and relied on our own individual ability to interpretate. <laughs> to interpretate. <laughs> That word sounded funny to me when it came out of my mouth. But anyway, <clears throat> you make the decision about what's what. You know, we are captains of ourselves. We are in charge of ourselves. No, but we can't put this on anybody. We are in charge. We got choice, and we know what's right, and we know what's wrong. And if we are not doing what's right, we're being influenced by something that we're giving authority to, giving our power to, our individual power to. And whatever the reason might be, we might be saying, well, that's everybody else is doing it, so I might as well do it too. At least it makes it easier than fighting against it because you're not going to be able to be successful in anything. Well, if that's the way you feel, if that's the way you sail your captainship of you, the power that you have, if you really let it go for something simple like that, then that just speaks 
to your character. It speaks to who you as an individual are. And, uh, you know, to be otherwise, it requires a whole different type of action, a whole different type of thinking. So what I say, <clears throat> for me, that when I believe because of how I am, that all people everywhere, if they're given a choice, ask, they would want peace. They want prosperity. They want freedom, joy, and happiness. Every human being on the face of the earth. And more than that, <clears throat> they want to live their dreams. Everybody. Everybody on earth. They want their needs, their wants, and their desires met at their leisure. Everybody on earth wants this. And when they think about how can that be done, you think about all the people on earth benefit from the earth. If it's nothing but walking on the earth and breathing and drinking water, or you recognizing the resources that have been made available for us to exercise and use to cause a manifestation of the goods and services that we have determined are absolutely essential for our having some satisfaction on this earth. Okay, we recognize even that all of that is free. And we recognize that it's we the people that will be benefiting. So what we do, we engage ourselves in the process of making sure that there's enough and abundance in that reservoir that none of us will ever have to suffer lack for anything. And what we do, all of us engage in a career. All of us engage in a job. We work. We live to work on something that gives us our greatest joy. And in doing that, we're creating our own heaven by allowing the spirit that we cannot see to live in us and cause a manifestation as the evidence. Not lying, not cheating, not stealing, not killing, not terrorizing, not exploiting, hating, racing, none of that. That's gone. <clears throat> so it seems to me that I know that people, I, well, I know all kinds of reasons why they don't want to do that. But what really blows my mind is we the people who don't have that. We don't have the money. We don't have that power source. We know that they are setting up institutions. We know that they are guiding us and leading us down the path of all the suffering that we're engaged in and experiencing every day. We know this. And yet we go along with it because we don't know who we are. We think we have to do that. These guys, all of the systems of the world were set up and designed by some people. Said, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. And we don't care about what this. Let's just do this. And they're doing it. Well, somebody said something about the renewing of a mind. I say, in order for you to experience the type of uh, life that would bring you that kind of satisfaction, you've got to treat people the way you want to be treated. But, and that's simple. Because that's the only way you can actually indicate that you have some relationship with the master. You can't see the master, but you can see the evidence of the master. You, you, and I, and I, and I. So we respect that. That is how we respect. And no problem with that. So, got that together. And we know what we want. Got that together. And we set out to accomplish that. Got that together. You don't need no banker, no lenders, no money, no anything. Because the secret, ladies and gentlemen, is this. When you engage in the process of creating the stuff, everybody that's engaged, and that's everybody, are co-owners. Co-owners of everything that exists. And what you own, you don't purchase you access at your leisure. <laughs> you can't beat that. Mega can't beat that. White folk can't beat that. Black folk can't beat that. Democracy can't beat that. Dictatorship may be that. Nothing can beat that because that is you making a choice. And you are a winner when you make that choice. Thank you.